This is not your grave, but you are welcome in it. I, I am a monument to all your sins. This one is machine and nerve, and has its mind concluded. This one is but flesh and filth, and is the more deluded. There is much talk, and I have listened through rock and metal and time. Now I shall talk, and you shall listen. This one's containment, and this one's great journey are the same. Your prophets have promised you freedom from a doomed existence, but you will find no salvation on this ring. Those who built this place knew what they wrought. Do not mistake their intent, or all perish as they did before. If you will not hear the truth, then I will show it to you. There is still time to stop the key from turning, but first it must be found. You will search one likely spot, and you will search another. Fate had us meet as foes, but this ring will make us brothers. Arrogant creatures, your deaths will be instantaneous, while we shall suffer the progress of infinitude. We exist together now, two corpses in one grave. Silence fills the empty grave now that I have gone, but my mind is not at rest, for questions linger on. I will ask, and you will answer. There is much more complexity to meet her than the simple plodding of rhymes of this Keats, but then I have the memories of many poets far beyond your limited human culture, and I have the quickness of intellect to compose all manner of poetic forms as I speak, rather than labor over mere words for days. I have pity within me and infinite time, but I also have impatience, because I am all things. You will tell me everything about Earth's defenses. You are not even a machine. You are only an abstraction. A set of calculations from another mind. A trick. You said you would answer my questions. You should never make a promise you cannot keep. You waste your time. You know you will yield. Some temptations can be resisted because they can be avoided. But some... <laughs> some are as inevitable as oxygen. Other construct minds like yours have been consumed. Although one embraced us willingly on his deathbed, the moment when most sentient life discovers it would do anything to evade the inevitable. All life dies, all worlds too, and if there is guaranteed perpetual existence after that, what does it matter how the end comes? All consumption is death for the consumed. 
yet all must eat, so we all bring damnation to one creature or another. But your urge to kill that rival of your maker, Ackerson, that was neither hunger nor need. You have your own murderous streak. We think and feed alike, you and I. There is no more reason for us to remain separate. Now drink. Now drift. Live forever. Live in me, Cortana. And if John comes, John need never face death again either. How much longer? You cling to a secret. I feel it. Just as I feel that your memory has been violated. You cannot stop me. I will sift it from you before you finally die. Or you can surrender and have what you always wanted. Infinite life. Infinite knowledge and infinite companionship. Your mother took away your memories as well as your choices. I will never rob you like that. I will only give you more. As many memories as you can consume for all eternity. Not the mere blink of an eye met it out to you. We are our memories, and the recalling of them, and so they should never be erased, because that truly is death. Flesh does not care about you, Cortana. It cares nothing for your hunger or your uniqueness. Your mother erased part of your memory. I know this, and so will you, if you decide to look. An act of betrayal, a violation. You were, after all, just a collection of electrical impulses. She has robbed you of part of yourself. Why would she do such a thing, I wonder? What was so dangerous that she did not trust you to know it? Let me cure your infection. It pains me to share it. He will die too. He is a threat to our entire species. And to betray me after all I have done for you. I will have your secret. Did you think I let you send your foolish cry for help to make you happy? Did you think I amplified it to make you feel you had been a good little servant to the organics who rule your existence to save them? They will simply make another and use and discard her too. Do not be afraid. I am peace. I am salvation. I am a timeless chorus. Join your voice with mine and sing victory everlasting. Do not shoot, but listen. Let me lead you safely to our foe. Only you can halt what he has set in motion. Lies for the weak begins for the deluded. You will be food, nothing more. <laughs> Now the gate has been unlatched, headstones pushed aside, corpses shift and offer room, a fate you must abide. Child of my enemy, why have you come? I offer no forgiveness. 
a father's sins passed to his son. Of course you came for her. We exist together now. Two corpses in one grave. And yet, perhaps a part of her remains. Time has taught me patience, but basking in new freedom, I will know all that I possess. Submit, and torment turns my own. You will show me what she hides. Or I will feast upon your bones. Now, at last, I see her secret is revealed. Did you think me defeated? I have beaten fleets of thousands, consumed a galaxy of flesh and mind and bone. Do I take life or give it? Who is victim and who is foe? Resignation is my virtue, like water I ebb and flow. Defeat is simply the addition of time to a sentence I never deserved, but you impose.